Okay, in this video, I would like to show you another self-fetching circuit. Uh, it will be uh, triggered by the external source, like ignition wire in a car. And in this case, we're using the trigger wire. So we want to keep our load running after, for the period of time after we turn the car off. So let's say you have a backup camera, you have GPS, you need a recording device, and you want to keep it running, or some fan, you want to keep uh, it running for a period of time, so off delay. This is, would be the function 12. The function 12 allows us to supply the output as soon as the trigger is on and then stay on for a period of time when the trigger drops off, when the ignition turns off. So we're going to uh, configure the timer to the function 12 and trigger number 2. So I have the circuit here, uh, the diode is here and the uh, this uh, button will uh, represent the uh, ignition switch. So when we supply the power from the battery, it's going to go to the trigger wire, to the blue wire, to the blue wire here, and uh, also through the diode in the, to the circuit. So let's uh, do that. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to push two buttons to program the timer and push the ignition wire, the delay turns on, going to, let's say, the delay time, let's say we set it to 5 seconds, release, push two buttons, we're going to set the trigger to a 2, and the function to 12, 1, 2, one, two, 12, and that's it. So when we supply the uh, ignition on, we turn the circuit on, and it stays on for a period of time. Again, we supply the trigger, and it stays on uh, for a period of time. When it disconnects, it disconnects the 87 and 30, so the power stops here. There's no power going anywhere, and uh, ignition is at zero. Uh, so nothing powers the timer, nothing goes uh, anywhere. So in this case you have uh, zero voltage, uh, or I'm sorry, zero current consumption. Now if you remove the, uh, you can remove the relay and supply the power continuously to the timer, then you don't need the diode and use the trigger wire. In this case you will just get the same functionality, but uh, the timer is going to consume about 4 milliamps. So if you have a, a large car battery, it uh, will run there for a month, so maybe it's not a big deal. Um, but if it's the, something you uh, want to eliminate any power consumption, then you can use the relay to do so. Thank you so much.